Hi, thanks for tuning in again. Some of you asked for videos on light and refraction. So here it is again. So if you like it, do like and subscribe. Okay, let's start tackling some of the questions. This is from 2016, section B. In fact, this whole question is on light. Very generous. 10 marks on light. Let's look at the first one. Refractive index of glass in air is 1.6. Calculate the critical angle for light in this glass. So formula that you are using is this 1 over n equals to sine c or sine c is equals to 1 over n. So sine c is 1 over 1.6. c will be sine inverse which you will calculate it to be Thirty-eight point seven degrees. Yes, easy two marks. Next, light is incident on the face LN or glass prism as shown here. Angle incidence on face LN here is thirty. Light enters a glass incident on face LM over here. Calculate angle of refraction R. So they want this one. They are ask. They are checking if you are you know how to apply this sine I over sine r is equals to 1.6 sine 30 over sine r is 1.6 degrees Two marks. For the prism in figure 11.1, .1, so over here, angles R and X are related by R plus X is 45. So this plus this is 45. Discuss with reasons what will happen to the light incident on the face LM. So first we have to know what is the angle incident here, X. So they are actually testing you if you understand the concept of critical angle and total internal reflection. So R plus x is equals to 45 degrees we already know that r is 18.2 so x is equals to 45 minus 18.2 and you will get 26.8 degrees so we have to check is x larger than your critical angle? No, x is not larger than our critical angle. What will happen? First thing you must write is angle x is 26.8 degrees, which is smaller than the critical angle of 38.7 degrees. So it means that it's able to escape the prison. The ray will move out of the prism and bend. So as it moves from here to here, this is dense, this is less dense, DLDA and bend away from the normal. So this is your answer. Firstly is we establish that it is smaller so total internal reflection will not happen. Then after that we say we will move out the prism and bend away from the normal. If we want, we can even calculate what will be the angle of refraction. So let's just do that. Sine i over sine r. So in this case, i over here is inside. So when you are moving from denser to less dense, you have to remember you have to flip the refractive index. So sine 26.8 over sine r is equals to 1 over 1.6. So if I want, I can write the ray will move out of the prism and bend away from a normal with an 
an angle of refraction of 46.2 degrees. So this should get me my 3 marks. Let's go on. The prism is now rotated, ro rotated so that the light is incident normally on the face LN. So remember this is similar to the prism case which I showed you just now. This one. Explain why the light emerges from the prism along the face LN. You may draw on 11.2 if it helps your answer. So when they say you may draw means that you should draw. So let's draw it. So as it enters into the prism, because it is incident normally, so it means that it's parallel to the normal. So as it enters, it will not bend. So this is 90 degrees. And this is our normal. So what we are trying to determine is what is this angle. So we know that this is 45, this is 90 this angle must be 45 degrees and since this whole thing is 90 degrees this angle is also 45 degrees so the light ray will strike the prism inside at 45 degrees 45 degrees is larger than the critical angle so total internal reflection will happen so it will come out at 45 degrees it's right here and as it strikes here, again we draw the normal. This angle is also 45 degrees. Because this is 45 and this is 90. So this this two this must be 45. So 45 is also larger than the critical angle, so it will come out this way. So this is the full path of light. In order to answer our question. Let's just label all the light rays. So this is I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. Now let's write story. Explain why the light emerges from the prism along phase LN. So we have already shown the pathway. So let's start from here. As light enters the prism at, so let's call this A, A the ray will not be refracted as it is incident normally on the face LN. I2 will strike LM at an incident of 45 degrees. This is larger than the critical angle. So total internal reflection will occur. I3 will strike MN at an incidence of 45 degrees. Total internal reflection will occur again. I4 will strike Ln incident normally thus it will not bend and leave the glass block as I5 okay so labeling kind of help you to tell the story so basically you need to be able to list down all the different angles inside and shows that they are larger than the critical angle so total internal refraction happens so this is how you get your 10 marks let's go on and solve questions from 2019 paper so 2019 there are actually two questions one is found in section a the other one is found in section b let's look at this compulsory question in question section a first so light incident on the curved surface of transparent semi circular block passes through without deviation as shown Light is incident at point C. So over here on the face of LM, explain why the light ray is not deviated as when it enters a block. So it is not deviated because it enters the block at an incidence normal to the surface. 
So the keyword is incidence normal, means that it's parallel to the normal. So that should get you your one mark. B, using a suitable calculation state and I explain what happens to the light that's incident on the phase LM. So here again, they are testing on total internal reflection. So the angle incident is 40 degrees, refractive index of the material is 1.6. As we learned just now from the previous question, we use sine C equals to 1 over N. We will find our critical angle. And our critical angle is 38.7. So they like to use 1.6. So if angle incident is 40, then it's larger than the critical angle. So you have to show this part of the working here first. All right, I'm not going to show it because we have done it previously already. So as the incidence, you can write bracket 40, is larger than the critical angle, total internal reflection will occur. The light ray will reflect off the surface of LM. Okay, so that should get you your three marks. Next, let's look at this question that is in section B. So it's a part of a dolphin question. It's paired together with sound. Trainer in the air looks at the dolphin in the water. Dolphin is shown as shown. So this is similar to this example. Two rays from the dolphin incident complete the figure to show the two rays in the air. So what we do is you draw your normal first. Okay, this should be dotted line as well. So it shows that it's not real real rays. So this is dense, this is less dense. D L D A. So you're bent away from the normal like this. So try to have it like bend somehow equally. And this ray that you trace backwards, make sure it's dotted to show that it's virtual. Okay, so this is your eye. Use the rays you have drawn to explain why the trainer see the dolphin at a different depth than its actual depth. So part two, as the light rays leave the water, it will be refracted away from the normal. So to show it bending this way, as shown in the diagram. So this will help you so you don't have to describe, okay? You can refer to the diagram. The trainer will see a virtual image of the dolphin, which is uh, higher of a lower depth as compared to the actual depth of the dolphin. Okay, so the main thing is refracted away. Refer over here, you'll see a virtual image. So over here, so let's label this I. So then we can bracket I here for the dolphin, which is our lower depth. So these are the keywords, and that should get you your three marks. Let's look at this one from 2015. Periscope question. Periscope is used to look over the top obstacles. One type consists of two right triangular prisms that are fixed on each end of, as a, of a tube as shown in the figure. Each prism has angles 90 and 45 degrees. Critical angle is 42 degrees. Ray of light from the top passes through periscope image is viewed at E. State two reasons why light is reflected inside each prism. So reason number one is because so for us to describe, you can actually label. So let's say if I label this A, B. The light ray striking surface A, B 
and CD has angles of incidence which are larger than the critical angle. So the angle incidence are actually 45 degrees. So if you want, you can actually like mark inside as well. So if I draw a line here, this is 90. So this is 90, this is 45. So this must be 45. Therefore, total internal reflection will occur. So that's part one. Okay, so part two, the second reason I can think about is mostly because over here this is this is not a uh, glass so let's say if it's glass and glass it will be a different result so second reason is because the the light rays are moving from a denser medium to a less dense medium okay so refract refraction happens only when rays are traveling between mediums have different density so it's only when you have refraction then total internal reflection is possible so that's it okay next on figure 7.1 complete the ray from the base of the object to show its path through the periscope so what they want you to do is this one. So we need to complete this ray. So it hits here, it's going to come down parallel. So I've completed the ray. In the space, draw the appearance of the object O as seen through the periscope. So you see this, this ray match the arrow head, right? So I'm going to draw H here. So H, H, H. So H is still on top. Is the tail, 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 tail. So your image must still be like this. Okay? So they are seeing whether you know it is an upright image or an inverted image. So that should get you your two other marks. So that's it for refraction.